2015 is officially an El Nino year. That's when the Eastern Pacific warms up and starts messing up weather patterns around the globe. Thursday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration declared that the long-awaited weather phenomenon has begun. But this one is so unusual, forecasters aren't quite sure how it will impact global weather, if it will at all. That's only the latest bit of uncertainty this time around. Ever since last spring, weather experts and the media have been declaring the event would start any day now, and it would be a big one. Big El Ninos like the one in 1998 can result in warmer global temperatures and widespread flooding along the west coast. Obviously, the much-hyped 2014 El Nino didn't happen. And in a bit of bad news for drought-stricken California, the 2015 El Nino is hitting at a time of the year when it's unlikely to bring much rain. So how are the scientists off by this much? In large part, it's because the whole El Nino cycle isn't very well understood, or at least not well enough to make surefire predictions. It sounds like we have a lot of record. We have 100 years or so. But in the scheme of things, we know El Nino oscillates, and, the, and those patterns are very hard to, to characterize. And it also comes down to how you define the phenomenon. The Pacific did warm last year, but has hung out just below the benchmark for what counts as an El Nino until now. Scientists believe the event will last through the summer and any effects will be mild. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.